So Nadine, uh, where did you get the, the references for, for this movie? Because for me, this is the one that best represents not not even Rio, but Brazil. Where did you get all these references? Like, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's so strange uh, because I, I, I don't know how I understood this culture and mm -hmm. why I understood it so quickly. It was... Mm -hmm. uh, I came here just uh, for where do we go now for the mm -hmm. release of it a few years ago and it was very short but uh, I don't know I'm I'm a big observer usually in life and I am fascinated with human behavior and 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 the fact that you are also such an open culture and such open people and mm -hmm. and I feel like uh, I can I can read uh, a bit uh, the people and the personality because I don't feel like there's too much layers it's sort of what you see is what you get mm -hmm. and it makes it more easy for me to understand it and I think there's a lot of, of similarities also with the Lebanese mm -hmm. culture and something about the personality that is very similar so um, I sort of I understood it I don't know how and uh, and, and I was I was very much fascinated with the whole the whole you know, for the favela culture, uh, the, the religious uh, aspect uh, and the faith of people here and, and of course, football and, and, and all these things together made it sort of instinctive. And wh where did you see this? Like uh, movies, songs, books? Maybe, yeah, news? it's maybe it's a mixture of everything. Mm -hmm. Movies, songs, books and, 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 and Portuguese is one of my favorite Uh, languages in the world if there's one language I want to learn it's Portuguese mm -hmm. uh, and also the music and the, and maybe the films uh, I yeah maybe all this together made it made it uh, a culture that I I would I'm fascinated with it's something that I really like it's not like I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm how do you say I'm dwelling into something mm -hmm. that is not uh, you know, not fascinating for me. It's a fascinating culture, and, 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 and I was happy to do it. And is there something in Brazil that you, you'd like to see some, to see or to show in a movie or something? Like, I don't know. Something in Brazil? Yes. It's really, the, like I told you, the warmth of the mm -hmm. people, the, the accessibility and the okay. simple approach yes. to yeah. life and to things and to just life in general. There's no complications. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I get it. I don't know if yes. I see it the right way, mm -hmm. but but you don't feel like it's 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 that simple elsewhere. You mm -hmm. you go somewhere else in Europe or in other countries, you feel like there's too many layers. Like you feel like people don't feel e at ease with you very quickly, and so you sometimes you have a feeling you you want to shake them and tell them you know everything's okay, nobody's judging mm -hmm. you, just relax and be yourself. <laughs> and it's not something I feel here. I mm -hmm. felt at home very quickly. I felt like. And even on this shoot with the people, with the crew, I felt just comfortable being around everyone. So, and this is really relaxing when you really feel comfortable while working also, because it, mm -hmm. it's very important. It gives you wings so you yeah. see, and you, you, you start communicating with everybody very easily. And, and for me, it was it's such a real pleasure working with this mm -hmm. little kid and, and yeah. f it's, you know, he's magic, he's mm -hmm. genius. And, And I was so happy to find him because it's exactly how I pictured him when I was when we were writing the script. Exactly this, that this little boy that acts a little bit like an adult because he's been through things in his life. Mm -hmm. His hair, the fact that he has blonde hair on the edge right. because of the sun. Yes. It's exactly <laughs> how I imagined it. <laughs> so when I saw him, it was like for me a revelation. But mm -hmm. it was not easy because everybody thought I was completely crazy to work with him because <laughs> you saw how yeah. he is. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't <laughs> stand on his, you mm -hmm. know, st hold still for more yeah. than 10 seconds. So so it was um, it was a challenge. But I knew, I knew that he was going to deliver. I knew. <laughs> I don't know why, instinctively. <laughs> and everybody thought I was crazy and everybody was thinking, so Nadine, what do you think? Maybe we should have somebody maybe eight years old, an <laughs> actor? What do you think? <laughs> They kept bringing <laughs> actors also. They kept uh -huh. proposing to me other kids, uh, kids that mm -hmm. have experience. And I used, every time I was, no, no, no. 
I need kawa. I need one <laughs> kawa. So, and, yeah. and do you feel any difficult being a woman directing movies? Because we don't see a lot of women directing movies. And I think we should. But we definitely should, because I think it's very important to have this uh, uh, different approach to things yes. and this uh, different point of view on mm -hmm. life and on things it's, it's 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 important that we have it but i've never really felt the difficulty of my job because i'm a woman it's mm -hmm. very surprising even to me i've never felt that people look at me in a you know in a in a doubtful way because i'm a woman it's a difficult job anyway i think it's okay. as difficult for a man mm -hmm. to make films especially in the Middle East, uh, it's a battlefield to make a film. Mm -hmm. But I've never felt the difficulty because I'm a woman. Maybe because I believe very strongly that, uh, you know, we, we have the same uh, ability to make films. I've never felt anybody doubt it. So, mm -hmm. and it's important that we have this new that and this different point of view on, on things. Okay. Okay, Nadine, thank you. <laughs>